welcome back to the channel everyone it's me Tien and it's been a while since you've seen my face but today I wanted to make a more uh, different type of video than I usually do usually you see more of my cast but today you're gonna see a little bit more of me today is all about me recommending the best toys um, that I've used in an indoor type environment such as apartment studio apartment or any sort of smaller space that you can think of now I want to go uh, a little bit more different than other videos that uh, are in this space where they recommend the product they say you know what it does but I want to be more specific what age group what kind of cat would benefit from these toys and what kind of ways you can use these toys to be more effective and the reason i'm doing this video is not for you guys to buy more things it's for you guys to be more specific of what you need to buy for your cat we want to get our cats to be more active more stimulated in their indoor environment but at the same time we don't want to be wasteful and buy the things that our cats are not interested in and uh, this is the goal now whenever i'm making a toy purchase or furniture anything related to my cats, I always go through a five to six question checklist that I ask myself and I hope you guys will also ask yourselves to uh, make sure that it's something that my cats will use and it's something that's um, effective in my home. Now the toys and products that I'm recommending are split into three categories and there's a reason for this. Each has a sort of, um, each serve a different purpose for your cats and they are likely to have different effectiveness depending on your cat age and your cat um, personality as well. So um, this is to help you further pinpoint exactly what your cat needs. So the three categories are one, stationary toys, two, um, play environments, and three, interactive toys. And each category again differs in the effectiveness that your cat um, will sort of um, react to it. And it also differs in the amount of effort that us humans have to put into you know getting our cats to move and engage with that toy i'm gonna put a simple infographic right here to let you guys sort of uh, visually see what kind of toys is going to be more effective and what kind of toys is going to be more effort being put out by us uh, butlers so let's get to our first category our first category is stationary toys and as the name describes it's literally toys that are just sitting there waiting for our cats to interact with it and um, you know yeah there's probably a ball on a track or a ball connected to something or a feather connected to something and unfortunately these are the toys that we buy a little bit too much of stationary toys look fun uh, on the outside but uh, for cats i mean they're smart like they're not gonna hit something around for an hour at a time if it's not moving or anything. They know they're hitting it and it's moving around a track and they're hitting it again. So it doesn't do anything instinctually for them. It doesn't give them that, oh, that um, satisfaction of them chasing after something and then catching it. They, they're smart, they're cats, and they know that they're making it move. It's one of those things where it's great for filling in the gaps while you're at work or while you're at, um, doing something. It's great for them to have sort of a, a distraction here and there. Oh, maybe they'll pass by and they see it and then, oh, okay, I'll, I'll whack at it a couple times and then I'll move along with my, with my um, daily life, you know? You sort of get the idea. They are not quite as effective as the other categories that I'm gonna mention uh, about soon. Uh, but they are super low effort, super passive. You, you, you know, you can just put them down and maybe, hopefully, if your cats interact with it, that's a bonus. If your cats uh, play with it for more than five minutes, that's a bonus, right? It's there as a distraction, nothing else. And again, it's great for when you need to go somewhere, you need to um, distract them because they keep going on to um, something that you don't want or trying to dig something out from maybe a drawer or something. It's great as a distraction. Adult cats that has been around the block, knows what's going on, aren't too really too, uh, interested in stationary toys. But kittens and young cats, they absolutely love stationary toys. It's a wonderful tool to help socialize them, help, uh, help them get to sort of know what's um, uh, you know, they can play with and what they can't play play with. So it's a really nice tool. And uh, Loki, my youngest, 
cat when he was a kitten, he loved the ball track toy. He could hit that around 20, 30 minutes at a time and then, you know, be uh, um, pooped, right? So it's a really great um, toy for young cats and um, kittens especially. Now down below in my description I've recommended some stationary toys that I personally have used and also my uh, what I've recommended my friends to use as well because uh, although there are a lot of cheap ones um, stationary toys with uh, the plastic that has multi-levels it's great for young cats but again as your cats grow up they become quite strong so it's easy to tip them over so getting one of the ones with the wide base where it's untippable or heavy enough and stable enough to um, handle larger cats. That's also um, what I would recommend. In my opinion, it's best to have max two stationary toys so you can cycle the mount um, whenever one is getting stale. So if you're going to work, bring out one and then if you see the cats are getting a little bit bored with it and you need um, to have a little bit more of a distraction, uh, bring out the new one, sprinkle a little bit of catnip on it and then take out the old one and then cycle them like that. And uh, that's the best way I think stationary toys should be used. Now there is a new slew of sort of new stationary, space saving stationary toys that I've been sort of experimenting with that attach to the windows or any glossy surface by use of uh, suction cups and you know how much I love suction cup items. Um, so they're great for people that live in smaller spaces such as myself. However, they might not be as effective as regular stationary toys because on the floor, the ball can move around in a circle, but if it's um, on a wall or something, it can only move back and forth. So it can still be you know, used. Uh, I'm using it right now. Uh, it's I, I see the cats going um, going to it from time to time, but I don't think it's as uh, useful as the normal stationary toys. But it's still quite interesting to uh, see more and more sort of uh, space-saving toys available uh, nowadays. So. So category two is a cat play environment and uh, similar type um, products where um, they create a, uh, a varied environment for our cats to play in. And it's really one of my favorite categories because it uh, usually it's an environment where the home doesn't really have a lot of, you know, usually we don't want our cats to be burrowing and um, hiding somewhere and we want them to be out in the open. But having these types of environments really brings out their instinctual drive and their hunter drive that we want them to use more often, right? So um, it works in tandem with um, many other toys such as um, cat interactive toys to make them more excited about playing. So there are two products that I would recommend in this play environment category. And one of them is something that probably if you've seen my channel, you know I love it. It's the cat collapsible tunnel. I uh, use it very, very often in my uh, apartment here. And uh, the second one is the play ripple mat. And it's a mat that has a bunch of holes in it and a bunch of ripples that the cats can dive in and dive out um, and burrow in it and scratch it. Anything you want really, and it's incredibly durable. These. Um, products are really great because they're easy to put away and very easy to set back up whenever you need them. So it's um, one of the best um, things to have in your sort of cat arsenal so that you can vary situation, vary their play situations quickly and easily and keeps them engaged for a very, very long time. Um, these play environment products are great for any cat of any age, of any breed, and uh, they're great for multi-cat homes. It's another reason why I love them so much because you place them down and all three, four of your cats are playing together because um, one cat will go into the tunnel or the ripples or whatever, the holes, and then the other cat will try to pounce on them when they try to go um, outside of the tunnel. So it really initiates the cats um, self play with each other and and uh, diverts their attention to this um, play environment rather than um, your furniture around the house right because it's a lot more stimulating a lot more engaging 
I believe every cat owner should have at least one of these player environments uh, in their home. It really keeps playtime fresh and um, you can set it up while you're at work or going somewhere for a longer peri period of time for about two to three days and it keeps them busy and out of trouble. And uh, um, for cleaning, it's a simple matter of just using a lint roller to clean it up um, and then fold it back up and put it away. Great, neat and very effective. Now we get to the last and maybe the most important um, toys within your cat toolbox cat arsenal and it is the interactive toy interactive prey toys whether it's a wand or a ball or something that your cats can catch and um, you set the pace of uh, the play session so what does interactive mean interactive means there's a interaction between you and your cats between the their owners and um, the cat themselves because you know, you set the pace of um, how fast they go, where the prey go, how they're going to catch the prey. I mean, you uh, you have a direct connection with your cat whenever you play uh, in this way. And it's an incredibly effective way of getting your cats to move. And it's probably the best way for any cat owner to um, interact with their cat, to let them experience what it is to be a cat. And that is um, equivalent of getting, uh, if you have a dog, that is the equivalent of walking your dog every day. For more tips on uh, how to better play with your cat in an indoor type environment, you can click up here or, or is it over here to see one of my videos for that. Let's continue on. Interactive toys are probably the most simplest and cheapest toys and everybody knows about them, but I don't think we use them enough in our cat's daily routine. It's, you know, we, we know that we should be playing with our cats, but how much and with what? Well, I'm gonna tell you at least once every two days and it really helps for them to behaviorally let out what they need to be cats so that they don't need to be destructive within their home environment. They already let out their sort of aggression on their prey on the toys itself. So that's why it's such a great tool to curb any behavioral issues because a bored cat is usually a destructive cat, you know, cat that swipes at everything or the cat that, you know, bites at uh, everything that moves around. It's because he lacks that type of play. Now each cat is different. Some cats like um, snake-like um, wand toys and with uh, snake-like movements and some cats really like furry type wand toys like feathers and, you know, normal uh, fur that's very rodent-like. Um, so for example, Rosie, my um, white cat in my home, she loves snake-like toys and the rest of the cats they really like feather type toys. To really get to know your cat's preferences uh, within their interactive toy, it's uh, recommended to get a variety pack of these toys. See what toys and prey your cat really respond to. And then in the future, if you ever need to replace or get more of these types of toys, then you know exactly what that type of um, prey that your cat will respond to most. So it's easy to replace, easy to purchase, you don't even have to think about it. Now, interactive toys should be the main ways we should all be playing with our cats. It lets them expend most of their energy and lets them go through the whole cycle from running, jumping, burrowing, um, climbing even if you have a very, very tall cat pole. And so it's the most energy uh, expenditure. It's the most energy expenditure activity that we can do for our cats. And also the most instinctually satiating activity as well. Now, I've uh, spewed out a lot of great things about interactive toys, but what is it not so great for? Well, it's not so great for our energy levels. We really have to get into it. We're direct. It's a direct um, sort of interaction between us and our cats. So we have to get out of our chairs and spend the next 20, 30 minutes just playing with our cats. And that sounds a little bit funny, but it's true. There's no replacement. You can buy a uh, hundred toys, hundred stationary toys, but it won't have the same effect as um, allowing them to interact with their prey, chasing their prey, and getting their prey, right? So it's part of the responsibility for us as cat owners to allow them to experience that. In my article, I have the recommended variety pack and wand toys um, so that you 
don't have to figure out what one toy is uh, most durable. I have it there already. And um, I also um, put in some really great ball toys as well. I hope this video has been helpful for you guys to pinpoint the exact product that you might need um, for your cat home. If you have any more questions, please don't hesitate to ask me down in the comments or on my website at nizirtn.com. Down in the comments is my full article with a lot more information about each of these cat toys and uh, I go through recommendations, what it's not so great for, just a lot more in depth as well. Also in the article is um, some more information about how to make better purchasing decisions for your cats, uh, especially in terms of um, cat toys and uh, cat products, and to help you guys decide and save money, but not only that, to help your cats be uh, engaged in their environment as well so thanks for watching and uh, please subscribe and if there's any other cat toys that you want me to take a look at leave it down in the comments as well so have a great day